today, we have a special treat. We are going to try Grange Stone Highland Single Malt Scotch Whiskey Bourbon Cask Finish. Um, this was a gift to us by our friend Kirk Kinneman. So, you know, spoiler alert, I have had it before. Well, that's not really a spoiler, but it's I have had it It's kind of obvious. Yeah, it's, well, it's a little well, obvious. You I, well, I, I've enjoyed <laughs> some. Um, <clears throat> but the uh, <laughs> dangers when you have multiple bottles of scotch in the office. Um, yeah, it's a rough but life. Ian and Eric, neither of them have had it, so this is a blind, not blind tasting, but it is a first tasting for them. It is my sixth, fifth, something around there. That's how big the glass was. Indeed. <laughs> All right. That's so weird. You just handed me a glass. I know. This well, we're bizarre. we're allowed now. A, we're, okay. we're vaccinated. B, we're in the bubbles. The bubbles. So, say when. That's is that fun. good. All Eight thirty. Right. Mr. Ian. One over and collect should, yours. Should I wait to please? add water to this? Or are we doing the? Uh, you can add water, water now if you want. I'm it's up to you. Do, so. I'll give Ian a touch more. He has to walk around all the Science. sound blankets and whatnot. Yeah. You get to see his kilt right there. How pretty he looks. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We're all back in the studios. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just excited <laughs> to be back in the studios. What did he do? Nothing. Okay. Nothing. Fair. Don't you worry your pretty little head over it. Always, people always making fun of me. I'm mm. always the butt of jokes. <laughs> I really don't care. Um, all right. So anyway, grain stone. We're going to pour a little bit of water in, if you want, to mm -hmm. open it up a touch. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, not, a, not a ton. Just a little bit. A little, little droppy poo. Um, Mr. Ian, why don't you regale us with some of the, uh, uh, the flavor notes and the, the nosing and aromas and all that. Yes. So the aroma is a soft, delicate single malt with hints of leafy spring blossom overlaid with subtle vanilla oakiness. Vanilla. Had to be vanilla. Had to be vanilla. <laughs> the taste is a beautifully mellow and sweet with a gentle oaky character, gentle spice, and fruity character. Gentle. And gentle. And the finish is sweet and crisp. It's, it's, okay. like, a, it's like a mother's caress. Mm. Um... I definitely smell the oakiness a little bit, um, and it, it is a smooth, well-balanced scent. Mm. Okay. It's I don't get a big burny smell. Picked up a little bit of a apricotty smell when I first sniffed it, but my nose is broken. Breathe <laughs> in too deep on that one. Yeah. Mm. I'm gonna do it. All right. There we go. Since I've had it before, I'm going to let you guys kind of uh, take the lead a little bit. I'd say the oakiness is definitely the, the strongest flavor. I'm finding it a little burning. Yeah, I'd agree with that. Did you pour water in? Yeah, maybe not enough. I okay. did as well. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. It's, very, it's got that hot alcoholic burn that's, that's yeah, strong. Yeah, right on the front. It's like, woof. And it's oaky. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, yeah, I agree on the oaky. I don't get the alcoholic burn. Mm. Almost at all. Says the guy who was choking after smelling it. <laughs> so he just he just got out of his system. I got I, I got some down the wrong nostril. Yeah. It was okay. It, it the, burned away. His exactly. sciences took the hit. So yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, it's I, I'm it's 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 warming. Mm -hmm. I definitely feel it's it. Definitely you know, warming. Warm down here, but it's very like. Now let me ask you this: the, oh, the a tiny bit more water. The alcohol uh, that you guys are talking about. Does do you? Um, is that a big Ooh, negative, or is it just kind of, it's just, it's a fact? Mm, for me, at the moment, it's a negative, but I, okay. I tend to okay. let things open up for a long time. Fair. That's the one thing I've learned about doing these, you know, just, you know, things change over time. Yeah. I would say it's generally more of a fact, but it, I don't like when it overpowers mm -hmm. everything else. I Has like it, it overpowered more it for you? I think so, a little bit. Okay, mm -hmm. all right. Yeah. I don't dislike anything about it, but it, it's not as balanced as I How is the be. finish now that you've been sitting... And you haven't sipped it for a few minutes. It's described on, uh, by their marketing as sweet and crisp. I don't get the sweetness. I don't. I don't either. I don't find it's, it sweet at all. It's not, especially even with other Roman taste profiles. It was suggesting sweet and vanilla and things like that. It doesn't come through as very sweet to me. I, I'm, I'm, 
I get a little bit of the sweet, like, sides of the mouth-ish. Um, I'm getting some of the floral. Yeah? I wouldn't call it sweet, but I'm getting, I'm getting, if I let sit <clears throat> and mellow, I'm getting some of the floral esters going up into my noses. Into my noses. All of them. I need to Photoshop that. <laughs> Face of noses. <laughs> if any of you out there have ever had Grainstone, let us know in the comments. Let us know if you dig it, if you don't dig it, if you're drinking it right now. Good on you. Um, <laughs> Unless you're at work or driving. <laughs> Fair <laughs> enough. Um, yeah, it's... I dig it. It's it's a nice, mellow... It's not... It is not my normal... Um, PD smoky Isla kind of thing that I do dig. Um, but if I'm in a... If I'm not in that mood, I will either go for Shield Egg or this has become... I won't say it's become because I've only had, you know, five or six of them. But it's it's one of those that I... I could see it becoming... Over months. For the record. For the record, good sir. We got this in December. That was full so, this morning. <laughs> that bottle was full this morning. The, uh... So, no, it's... It, it's, I could see this being a go-to as a, yeah, sure, I'm kind of in a, a chill I'm not, mood. I'm just not getting those nuances that they're talking about. I'm just, I'm having trouble picking out, I mean, you know, it's, it's, it's allergy season for me, so maybe I'm at a detriment with this, but it's just, I don't know, I'm not getting the complexity that I thought I was going to get based on those flavor notes, but. I will say this, it's either. I will say that. It's either so well balanced that you're not getting the complexity. Oh, it is, or, the zen. it is the zen of scotch. It's, it's right in that sweet spot. Mm. Um, no, it's I don't I don't get a lot of the complexity either. It's just a good, mild, just kind of hanging out, sipping. Now, here's the question. Does it remind you of bourbon? This is the bourbon cast, right? Um, Are you getting the bourbon? Yeah, bourbon. It's matured in bourbon fish. barrels. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm sorry. I was getting, I got a little bit of that. And I think some of that oakiness is what I put down to that. Yeah. It does remind me of a, of a bourbon oakiness. Yeah. I can see I it. That. I'm not, I'm not uh, refined enough with palate to, to I, say like, oh yes, this is a sherry cask. Mm, it's a slight jaw <laughs> on the upper and, left yeah, side. Yeah, bear in mind we're talking about yeah. vague. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. I'm not it's, trying to say I'm something. I'm obviously not an expert, but no, uh, it's I. I don't get that particular thing, but I don't normally get. The only time I get a a cask thing is if I get heartburn from it. Hmm. Then I'm like, oh, yep, that's an oak cask. You know, kinda. Okay. But this one, I don't get that from. Nothing about it yes. specifically screams bourbon at me, but the lack of the, the smokiness of the Islas and the peatiness, I'm not really picking up on. That makes me think a little bit more like an American bourbon yeah. or something like yeah. that. Okay. So I'm not a tasting expert either, but what it's missing yeah. more so than what it is is kind of making me think a little bit. If you just gave it to me with no sense of what it is what do you got mm -hmm. it's bourbon. Well, they do but they, they do a series of these um there was um they have a, a different series uh different casks they do it in sherry casks so as sherry well casks i know at least and they had uh something else i thought was odd when i was looking at looking for pictures for the email right. announcement um they have some aged a little bit longer yeah yeah but i can rum see cask this. finished rum I, cask yeah see i'd probably oof. like that one better and they have one aged 21 years that's too many years no, it's not. It's going to be a billion dollars. But <laughs> the, um, I could see this pairing well with like a, a cheese plate or crackers. Um, that like, was one of the questions. Yeah, what I could see it pairing pair well with that. Um, maybe, maybe chocolate. Maybe. I was going to say I'd have um, it with a steak. Fair. <laughs> um, well, everything goes with steak. It's <laughs> steak goes with steak. You know what goes with steak? Yeah, more steak. It's mm. bacon. You know what rhymes with Friday? <clears throat> scotch. Yes, exactly. Um, yeah, I dig it. All right, Mr. Ian. Score, 1 to 10. Decimals included. 5.1. 5.1. Yes. Mm. Okay. 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 Uh, 4.6. Now I know it. I'm going to say... Seven eight. Oh yeah, uh -huh. yeah. It's the magic thing um, is eight. It's something that you would travel to go get. Like I would drive somewhere to get it. Eight Delaware. and above. <laughs> <laughs> and this, this one was a gift. Always drive um, there. The um, yes, hooray for Pennsylvania's spectacular laws on liquor. Um, five is like 
bog standard. Seven is, you know, it's it's good. You would you would purchase it if you needed to. Above eight, you drive for it. Okay. okay. Two or below, you politely refuse. Yeah. Okay. Or yeah. angrily refuse <laughs> if it's like point five. Yeah. Okay. Disrespect me. 